Hello everybody, it's Farmsim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We're back on Greystone and we are back into the harvesting. We've got a couple of fields of soybeans that are ready to go and what that will allow us to do is to uh, combine some of our fields together as well. So we're just doing a little bit of a check on the combine. It's a little bit dirty but uh, it's all in good shape. Uh, one of the things we do have to do however is make sure that we have got enough fuel because at the moment we're running pretty low um, now there is a fuel tank just around the corner from the field we want to combine so that's a positive um, so we'll head over there now and now if you remember as well we haven't put any of the soybeans in our second bin yet because uh, there wasn't really enough so the gravity wagon is over there by our new field so we will uh, go and get that in a little minute but like you see here very small field almost like super impractical to be honest so we're going to merge this one the one behind it and this one here into one bigger field so first and foremost we are going to just grab this which will take literally a couple of minutes and then um, we will head over get the fuel that's in that red shed there ahead of us we'll pick that up and we'll get the combine filled up before we head over to the other field which again is a relatively small field um, there is other soybean crops that aren't quite ready yet um, so we haven't finished entirely but we'll get the fields we have got ready off um, and then really the only crops we've got left waiting for us are maize and that is just another growth stage away from being ready as well so as soon as that is ready um, we may do a mixture of that some of that may turn into uh, feed for the cows and others we may sell we'll see as uh, it ripens and we'll see the sort of things we get for it in terms of volume but for now uh, we'll focus on getting these soybeans off like I said this will literally take a couple of minutes tops it's such a small field um, so as we're progressing through this uh, series uh, we do want to kind of customize these fields a little bit and with the luxury we have of things like course play now that will self-detect new field shapes without having to uh, remap them and everything it's uh, making things quite easy if we expand so we'll keep doing that uh, make sure that uh, the farm is fit for purpose we'll keep an eye on the cows as well because they could uh, well be a good source of income for us and uh, we'll see how we go once we've got all the crops off we're going to sell them at the optimal time we can to make sure that uh, we make the biggest return we can on our uh, on our crops and I'm looking forward to getting ready for next year as well and getting planted and getting some yield boosts up because at the moment um, these crops are pretty poor yielding the amount of uh, weeds in them and uh, the amount of yield bonuses that haven't been applied means that uh, we've got the potential to get a lot more out of these fields next year as well but for now we'll get this last strip done here and uh, we'll go and fill this up okay we'll just reverse up to this little window here which we can pull a pipe through make sure we're in enough of a decent position that it should just top us up there we go that's filling up already it'll take a little bit of time it's quite a slow fill so as soon as this is done um, we'll move over to the other field okay there we go fully fueled a massive one thousand three hundred dollars it's cost us that we need to watch our money now we're not uh, we're not rolling in it and we've got to purchase a lot of um, a lot of seed and potentially fertilizer and lime to get all these fields prepped for next year so uh, we do need to be mindful of that I'm hoping the money will stretch but uh, if it doesn't uh, we might need to look at a loan we've obviously got the stones here we can consider selling as well uh, we took some down to the line point so at least we have that available to us um, that's not going to cost us that much but um, yeah it's not plain sailing yet I would like to see basically when we get to the end of this year and we've sold everything what we've got available to us really and uh, take things from there almost zero things off or take a take a note of what we've got in the bank and then just consider 
what we've got profit wise for next year right let's get this in the gravity wagon not much in there just over 900 litres and we'll squeeze down the edge of this field and uh, we'll grab this very very small field down at the bottom as well so in future I think we'll probably merge these three fields together here and possibly this um, cornfield here this very tiny point here this field here and again this small soybean field in the corner um, but we'll not worry about that today we've got to wait until the corn is ready to take off but we can kick on with this little field and get these soybeans sorted and away and then it's back to more cultivating just coming up this last pass now to the end of the field it's not taking long at all that another four and a half thousand liters in the tank though so uh, not to be sniffed at but there we go done so we will lift the header now power things down and like I said this uh, this field here is again soybeans that we are waiting on getting to harvestable stage they're not far off they're at stage 7 so I think we'll see that ready in the next day or so and as soon as we've got that field pulled off um, we literally have those two fields of corn only left so uh, things are looking good now I've got to make a decision what I do with these rocks again these look relatively small I think they could be rolled under we don't have a roller so we're going to have to make a decision about whether or not we lease one or we uh, we buy one. It could be something that we continually need on the farm, so it might be a good investment. Uh, we shall see. Um, but what we'll do now, we'll take this back to the yard, we'll get it uh, washed off because it is looking quite dirty now. And uh, we will uh, get the tractor hooked up and we'll go and join those fields together. There we go, we'll give this a good wash off. It's nice to be able to get the side panels up. Get all the dirt away from the insides as well. Uh, it shouldn't take us too long to get this off. Relatively dusty. Not caked on. So uh, as soon as we're done here, look, there you go, the inside panels looking better already. Um, we will park this up. Oh, a little bit too long on the hose stretch there. Like that little readout there, I'd not noticed that before. There you go. But we are clean. That is a sharp looking combine. Okay, there we go. Combine parked up. Uh, now I could have put the corn header on if I wanted, but we do still have that one field of soybeans, so it'll be a little bit of a race to see what comes first. But what we're going to do now. We are going to get sorted and get this field into a more sensible size. So here we go. And we'll drop this down here, hopefully not batter into the truck. We'll get this unfolded and put uh, create fields on and get things going. We click on Y, allow create fields, and off we go. Let's do some nice subtle turns in here. 
so things aren't uh, excessive. For when we've got course play running, we can go a little bit wider here too. Really eat into this space, which is nice. Really maximise the space we've got. Then we go back onto the field edge here, so joining that up nicely. And again here, we'll try and uh, shallow this uh, edge off if we can. Just make the turn a little bit easier for later on. There we go. Try and straight line it back to the field. Now we don't want to get too close to the trees. Could cause us problems with turning with the bigger implements or the combine. And then down we go. Around the edge here and join onto the field down here. This gives us a much uh, much bigger field. It's gonna be great this. And there we go. That looks good. Let's hope the shape of it isn't as uh, questionable as the last field, which a few of you have picked up on in the comments. I would suggest you all get your minds out of the gutters. There we go. Right to the edge of the tarmac there. I do a bit of landscaping there to tidy that up actually. And right round to the end here, I'm going to just quickly switch back to limit fields on this edge so we don't uh, cultivate anything we don't want to. Just catch these little straggly bits here as well, right next to the trailer. There we go. Right, now if we jump into the menu for a second. There we go, we can see the border that we've cultivated there. Um, that is a much better field shape than having those three tiny fields. So, um, I think what I might do now is set up Courseplay to run here. We'll have to leave Create Fields on, which makes me a little bit nervous. But uh, let's see how we go. Now I'm going to click off this and just show you what's happened here because I think it's worth seeing. That does not look like a course that we can manage. It's picking up the three separate fields in, so we're actually going to drive it manually um, and get everything sorted that way because um, it's definitely picking up some of the old field shapes. So what we'll be able to do once we've ploughed all this under or cultivated all this under is uh, then in the future run it as a normal field but for now I think we need to get rid of some of these elements first so um, it would have been nice to use course plate but uh, we will uh, run it like this for now so um, I guess we'll jump back into another little time lapse and we'll see you when this is done Okay, there we go. Field done. Now, what I'm 
thinking I might do. We'll check the cows quickly because uh, I'm going to make sure they've got enough feed. But after that, I'm thinking that we'll buy a roller and we will just see if we can push these stones back under the ground. Um, like I've said all along, they do look like small stones, so uh, that could definitely go in our favour. Um, if they don't disappear, we know that we need to uh, get the stone picker up. Now, it may be that we use a stone picker on some of them anyway, but uh, for now, uh, one of the things we do not need any more of at the moment are stones, so even though it's there in the shed, we don't want to use it if we don't have to. Um, so, there we go. Now, one thing we do have to do, and I've got to say a big shout out to Polar Bear, one of my followers, who pointed this out after the last episode. Don't forget to activate the lime factory. So we dropped the stone off in the last episode. So there's 12,000 litres of stone down at the lime point. But what we haven't done is turned it on. So we're going to run down there now very quickly. Gives us an excuse to take the uh, truck for a spin as well, which we haven't done for a couple of weeks. We are going to run this down. We're going to quickly flip the switch on that so it's starting to produce lime because, let's be honest, that's something we do need to put into the fields at some point. And then we can uh, leave that to run. And hopefully, next time we head down here, we'll be able to pick up a decent batch and uh, get it distributed. That's a fair old lump there, isn't there? There we go. Lime activated. That's going to start producing lime relatively quickly, hopefully. Yeah, there we go, it's starting to count down already. Uh, like I said, we're in no desperate rush just yet. But it'll be nice to know that that is there when we need it. And of course we've got more down at the farm as well. So once we've kind of eaten into some of the uh, storage in that, it's full at the moment, we can add a little bit more in. Uh, we may need to bring it back to the farm and store it as well. So we'll think about where we would put it as well. We have got our storage barn there. So, uh, oh, fortunately we've lost a deer there. Venison for dinner tonight. Now, jumping into the store, we don't have many options. We've got the two base game ones, which are rather expensive. But we do have this uh, Gutler Matador, which is a really nice little roller. We've already used this on uh, No Man's Land with Argsy. But it's, uh, it's a really nice uh, beast, and it can be either a roller or a grassland roller. Obviously, for what we need today, it's going to be a roller, and it is only $15,000. So, actually, a decent price as well. So, there you go. We've got it. Been delivered to the farm already. Looking good. Let's get this hooked up and see if it makes a difference. Save us a little bit of work and probably quite a lot of time. So we'll drop this down and we'll see what happens. Certainly it is leaving a different texture and those stones are disappearing. So we've got ourselves a rather nice solution here. We just jump out of the cab. Let's have a look. Owned by me. Fertilised 50%. It needs lime, which we already knew. Now let's roll over here. Will it give us that um, yield bonus. I think it might show up later on. Now, interestingly, the fertilization has disappeared here. So here... Oh, we've got no fertilizer. Ah, I, do you know what it is? It's where we've had the grass before. In the field. That's where it's showing the fertilization. So this does not have any because it was a field before and is ready. And some extra fertilizer. But... This is uh, this is nice to see. So, all right. With that in mind, let's uh, crack on and get this field sorted. So we're going to jump in. And we're going to try course play again. So let's click on here. Let's click create job, and we're going to click on field position to make sure we get it in the right place. And look at that. It has selected our new field edge. All I need to do now is open the course play course generator and generate fieldwork course and as you can see there we have got a rather nice shape so it has removed all of those funny little uh, lines that it did earlier on it's given us a rather nice field okay um that looks great 
let's get on with it. Okay, he is running nicely. He's getting this field looking really, really tidy. It looks great, doesn't it? So we're going to leave him to it. We are going to call it there for this episode. Um, feels like we're making a bit of progress, actually. Merging these two fields together definitely feels like uh, a step in the right direction. So uh, we will let him continue rolling this and getting rid of those stones, which sets this up very nicely for planting in the next... Uh, a uh, little while. Uh, again, we'll need to fertilise it a little bit as well, get a bit of lime on it, but we know that's going to come from the lime factory as well, so definitely a step in the right direction this episode. So, uh, like I said, we'll leave it there for this episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. It has been a pleasure, as always, pulling this together, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>